Um, my name is Jerry Fisk, and I am a master bladesmith. I got started interested in knives when I was 10 years old. Um, my class took a field trip to Washington, Arkansas, where they had a reconstructed James Black shop. And that old man in there was dirty, playing in the fire, making all kind of noise. Everything my mother said, don't do. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I want to try this. <laughs> You know, that's an interesting thing about inspiration. A, a lot of people will look at what current books are, what everybody else is doing, and they'll do a similarity. Uh, I find myself going further and further back in time to look and see what they used to do. And so um, I try to collect old books, rare books, and then so um, to, to understand what's doing all over the world. Uh, it, it will be tools or travel to learn something else. Um, I've been wanting to learn, uh, I've been wanting to get better at stone setting. I only know the basics and I'd like to know more about that and to learn to sculpture my engraving. And there's an old man down in South Texas, he's an old silversmith. I think I want to go and try to study with him. To be recognized by folks that I admire and, and peers, it's, uh, it's humbling. It, it truly is. And it, I, I'm just very honored by it. My name is Lynn Ray. I'm a master bladesmith. I love making knives. So although I've started making knives first before I began, began to study deeply into the historic uh, tools, artifacts, hardware, etc. It influences my thinking now. It's just so much a part of me that I, it influences me. So history is my influence. But it'll go to further my, my, my either my equipment or my supplies or uh, my education in my shop. Well, it's, I'm very grateful for one thing, so I appreciate it. Hi, I'm Paula Casey McGee, and I'm a soft sculpture fiber artist. I create fantasy themed art, mainly fairies that are inspired by storybooks and folk tales that I've read throughout my life, or that were read to me as a child inspired by everything really nature color texture fabrics especially vintage clothing for special occasions like wedding gowns formal attire pieces that were created by hand pieces that have meaning and memories in every thread I love to create new memories um, using these fabrics and textiles in a, in a fairy, a sweet new happy fairy um, for someone to um, remember their loved one with or whatever. I am very honored to be chosen for this award. Um, it will allow me time off, really not time off, but time to create uh, new pieces for um, a big gallery show I'm doing in December 2023. So thank you very much. <laughs>